Unit 10. Health and Hygiene A. Personal Hygiene 1. Read. Then answer the questions. A letter from Mom. October 10th. Dear Hua, Your dad and I hope you are well. We are both fine. It is nearly harvest time again, and we are working hard on the farm. Your grandfather often works with us. He is very helpful. He talks a lot about you and hopes you are well. I received a letter from your aunt last week. She wrote lots about you. So you are taking morning exercises now, Hua. You never liked to get up early in Hue. We are happy to hear you do now. I hope you are taking care of yourself, too. Your aunt is very busy, so remember to wash and iron your own clothes. And don't eat too much candy and stay up late. Those things are bad for you. I miss you a lot. Your dad and I hope to visit you in Hanoi soon, probably after the harvest. Don't forget to write, Hua. Love, Mom. 2. Listen. Listen and put the pictures in the order you hear. Yesterday, Hoa got up and took a shower. She put on clean clothes. She polished her shoes and put them on. She had her breakfast and then she brushed her teeth. She put a sandwich in her lunchbox and a bottle of water in her bag. She went to school. At recess, she ate her sandwich. Then she drank some water and talked with her friends. At home, she changed into red pants and a shirt and put on her sandals. After dinner, she washed and ironed her clothes. Then she did her homework. She brushed her teeth and had a bath. Then she went to bed at 11 o'clock. 3. Read Nam's Diary 6.30. Get up 6.35. Do morning exercises. 6.55. Wash face. 7 o'clock. Comb hair. 7.05. Eat breakfast. 7.20. Brush teeth. 11.30. Eat lunch. 6.30. Eat dinner. 7.30. Brush teeth. 8 o'clock, do homework. 9 o'clock, shower. 9.30, go to bed. A letter from Mom. October 10th. Dear Juan, your dad and I hope you are well. We are both fine. It is nearly harvest time again, and we are working hard on the farm. Your grandfather often works with us. He is very helpful. He talks a lot about you and hopes you are well. I received a letter from your aunt last week. She wrote lots about you. So you are taking morning exercises now, huh? You never like to get up early in Hue. We are happy to hear you do so. I hope you are taking care of yourself too. Your aunt is very busy. So remember to wash and iron your own clothes. And don't eat too much candy or stay up late. Those things are bad for you. I miss you a lot. Your dad and I hope to visit you in Hanoi soon, probably after the harvest. Don't forget to write, huh? Love, Mom. Yesterday, Hua got up and took a shower. She put on clean clothes. She polished her shoes and put them on. She had her breakfast and then she brushed her teeth. She put a sandwich in her lunchbox and a bottle of water in her bag. She went to school. At recess, she ate her sandwich. Then she drank some water and talked with her friends. At home, she changed into red pants and a shirt and put on her sandals. After dinner, she washed and ironed her clothes. Then she did her homework. She brushed her teeth and had a bath. Then she went to bed at 11 o'clock. Unit 10. 
health and hygiene. A. Personal hygiene. 2. Listen. Page 107. Yesterday, Wa did many things. Listen and put the pictures in order. Yesterday, Wa got up and took a shower. She put on clean clothes. She polished her shoes and put them on. She had her breakfast and then she brushed her teeth. She put a sandwich in her lunchbox and a bottle of water in her bag. She went to school. At recess, she ate her sandwich. Then she drank some water and talked with her friends. At home, she changed into red pants and a shirt and put on her sandals. After dinner, she washed and ironed her clothes. Then she did her homework. She brushed her teeth and had a bath. Then she went to bed at 11 o'clock. Six thirty, get up. Six thirty-five, do morning exercise. Six fifty-five, wash face. Seven o'clock, comb hair. Seven o five, eat breakfast. Seven twenty, brush teeth. Eleven thirty. Eat lunch. Six thirty. Eat dinner. Seven thirty. Brush teeth. Eight o'clock. Do homework. Nine o'clock. Shower. Nine thirty. Go to bed. Unit ten. Health and hygiene. B. A bad toothache. One. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Ow! What's the matter, Min? I have a toothache. Are you going to the dentist? Yes, I am. I have an appointment at ten thirty this morning, but I'm scared. Why? I hate the sound of the drill. It's so loud. I understand how you feel, but don't worry. Last week, the dentist filled a cavity in my tooth. Were you scared? I was a little scared, but the dentist was kind. She looked at my teeth and told me not to worry. Then she filled it. It stopped hurting afterwards. I felt a lot better after she fixed my tooth. You're right. I feel less scared now. Thanks, Hua. You're welcome, Min. Good luck. Two. Listen and answer. Doctor Lai is a dentist at Quang Chung School. She looks after all the students' teeth. Doctor Lai's office is clean, and so is her uniform. She always washes her hands after each child leaves. Many children are scared when they come to see Doctor Lai, but she is a kind woman. She explains what will happen so they are not afraid. Doctor Lai gives the children advice. She tells them how to look after their teeth. She reminds them to clean their teeth regularly and eat sensibly. Three, listen and read. Min is sitting in Doctor Lai's surgery. Doctor Lai is checking his teeth. Doctor Lai is kind. She smiles at Min and says, "Don't worry, Min. You have one small cavity." But it isn't serious. Your other teeth are fine. Min is very happy. Doctor Lai fills the cavity in Min's tooth. She finishes in less than ten minutes. Min is very pleased. Then Doctor Lai sits down and talks to Min again. How often do you brush your teeth, Min? She asks. Min looks worried again. Oh, I. Well, sometimes I forget to brush my teeth. Try not to forget, Doctor Lai says. Brushing your teeth is very important. Clean teeth are healthy teeth. Six, play with words. Sensible Sue brushes her teeth several times a day. She never touches unhealthy food and keeps the dentist away. Silly Simon neglects his teeth. 
eating too much cake. Now he's in a lot of pain because he has a toothache. End of CD one. B, a bad toothache. One, listen. Then practice with a partner. Page one hundred ten. Ow! What's the matter, Min? I have a toothache. Are you going to the dentist? Yes, I am. I have an appointment at ten thirty this morning, but I'm scared. Why? I hate the sound of the drill. It's so loud. I understand how you feel, but don't worry. Last week, the dentist filled a cavity in my tooth. Were you scared? I was a little scared, but the dentist was kind. She looked at my teeth and talked to me. She told me about my broken tooth. She filled it and made it better. It stopped hurting afterwards. I was very happy. She sounds nice. She is, and she's a very good dentist. Doctor Lai is a dentist at Kong Chung School. She looks after all the students' teeth. Doctor Lai's office is clean, and so is her uniform. She always washes her hands after each child leaves. Many children are scared when they come to see Doctor Lai, but she is a kind woman. She explains what will happen so they are not afraid. Doctor Lai gives the children advice. She tells them how to look after their teeth. She reminds them to clean their teeth regularly and eat sensibly. Min is sitting in Doctor Lai's surgery. Doctor Lai is checking his teeth. Doctor Lai is kind. She smiles at Min and says, "Don't worry, Min. You have one small cavity, but it isn't serious. Your other teeth are fine." Min is very happy. Doctor Lai fills the cavity in Min's tooth. She finishes in less than ten minutes. Min is very pleased. Then Doctor Lai sits down and talks to Min again. How often do you brush your teeth, Min? She asks. Min looks worried again. Oh, I, well, sometimes I forget to brush my teeth. Try not to forget, Doctor Lai says. Brushing your teeth is very important. Clean teeth are healthy teeth.